Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to talk to you guys about what I wish I knew when I first started makeup. If you are interested in seeing this video, please stay tuned and let's get started. <music> this the other day like while I was washing my makeup brushes actually um, out of all things um, I was washing them with dish soap and I remembered that when I first started I bought beauty blender like the washing liquid for like the sponges and it was so expensive it was like 40 bucks and I just I don't know like I just like back then I guess I thought like it was necessary like I had to have it in order to have clean like sponges um, but honestly guys you just need some dish soap um, you can even use um, baby shampoo you can get that at like dollar store you can even get their soap at the dollar store um, so that's like the very first thing that kind of brought me on to this topic because I just feel like I spent so much money on stuff that I really didn't need to and one of them was washing liquid thing so yes I don't remember what it's called um, so the next thing um, that kind of has to do with that is the brush cleaner so my first um, like the, it's like a spot cleaner so like you'd spray it you know clean it off and then go about you know doing a different shadow with the same brush um, my first one was from Sephora and it was still quite expensive it was like 18 bucks um, for like five fluid ounces of it and I mean it smelled good but I mean it, it just you know, like, <laughs> I didn't really, I couldn't justify that money. Um, so what I recommend is you can take um, a spray bottle. You can even do one like this. I got, I don't remember where I got this one from, but you can get them at any grocery store, um, Target, Walmart, wherever you prefer to go. Um, and then you can take, um, mix a little bit of water and, um, can do rubbing alcohol and a little bit of soap in warm water and then just spray your brushes with it and you can use that to kind of disinfect in between the washes um, to go off of that I'm just kind of like adding on because it they're all kind of related if that makes sense so for these little things in line is dirty because I was just doing my gift obviously um, you can actually find them at a dollar store, yay. Um, again, my first experience was getting them at Sephora, which again, it was quite expensive. I don't even remember how much I paid. I just remember like only getting that and the brush cleaner and just like looking at my receipt like, how did I just spend $40 when that's all I bought? You know, like I was just so confused and um, it was just really expensive for no reason. Again, you can get them at a dollar store, you can even go online now. I just, I don't think back when I first started doing makeup, it was really like available everywhere like that. Um, so the first place that I saw them at was Sephora, so I didn't really think of like to look anywhere else. And back then I didn't really use Amazon that much. So again, just save your money and look for options. They all pretty much do the same thing. Um, same with number two I'm gonna say number two because like those are like they're related um, so number two has to do with the sponge um, speaking of beauty blenders um, this is real techniques beauty sponge I guess that's what like they're called um, don't I mean beauty blender is great um, but is it worth $20 absolutely not it's a sponge real techniques is where it's at there's other there's plenty of sponges that are cheaper than beauty blender that literally do the same job. I actually prefer this one to the Beauty Blender. I find it softer and I like that it has a flat end 
because when I um, do my foundation, I like to go down my neck so I can like drag it like that. And then it has like a pointed tip as well so you can go under your eye and do the rest of it like you would with a beauty blender. Number three brings me to makeup brushes. Guys, you don't have to spend a lot of money on good brushes. You really don't. Um, but also, like, Amazon brushes, most of them really suck. Um, yeah. Um, so the brushes that you, that are like knockoffs or like, you know, that you can get like a whole set on Amazon for like, you know, ten, twenty dollars. Don't get those. They're terrible. Um, they're not very good quality. I don't even know how they're made and what they're made of. They're just really terrible. They don't do much. Um, my favorite places to get brushes from are Morphe. Um, I don't have a discount code to use with them. I'm sorry. Um, Morphe, BH Cosmetics. Um, Real Techniques has some really good brushes, and drugstores in general are now coming out with some really good brushes, which is really awesome. Like, it makes me so happy seeing drugstores coming out with quality products now. Like, you don't have to go to Sephora or, you know, go to Ulta or go to all these websites to get high quality makeup and pay an arm and a leg. You know, you don't have to do that anymore. It's great. Um, you can find all the dupes out there. And it, again, to my point, you don't have to spend a lot of money for what you're looking for. Yes, there are some products like skincare, and like high-end, um, like I really like Hourglass and Pat McGrath. Like, they use really good ingredients, their packaging is really nice, and to me, they're worth the money. Um, but if you don't have the money, there's you can always find dupes in the dark drugstore for things like Pat McGrath and um, Hourglass. <laughs> um, you can't really, I haven't been able to really find their dupes, um, but everything else, there's pretty much a dupe out there. Number four, right? Number four. Right. So, for my final advice, don't try and do your makeup the way you see on like Instagram or um, or YouTube. And that was my main thing is that instead of doing makeup the way I like to do my makeup and improving on that and like, you know, doing, um, blending better and laying down foundation better and learning how to do a wing and you know I thought that I had to do my makeup just like everybody on Instagram you know crap load of foundation big huge eyes you know eyes but like you know yes my makeup is colorful today but that's because I felt inspired and I wanted to do something different um, but I thought you always had to do a cut crease, halo eye, you know, highlight to the gods. And you don't have to do that. Like, I feel more comfortable just having a little bit of foundation, a little bit of eyeshadow, some eyeliner, dash of highlight, and I'm ready to go. Like, I feel beautiful that way. For some people, they prefer to have contour, highlight, lashes, that's fine, that's their preference. Do what makes you happy. Makeup is not one size. It's a different experience for everybody. And if it makes you happy, do it, you know? And that's, start ranting, um, my final point um, to this whole thing. Um, just do what makes you happy. Also, before I forget, bonus tip, um, makeup wipes. So like, when I do makeup looks and I swatch things on my hands, I don't want to use my either uh, makeup removing balm uh, from Clinique or um, 
like expensive makeup wipes. So I just go to TJ Maxx and I get a couple packs of these. They're like, they're $3.99. They're $3.99 and there's 60 of them. Um, they're not very good to use for your face, but they're great to just wipe away like excess um, from your brushes, from your hand. Um, if you have a little bit of pigment, you know, fall on your face, you can just wipe that away. They're perfect. So that was my bonus tip and I am done, I promise. I know I like to rant, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, that is all I have for you for today. And I hope you enjoyed my today's video and I hope you consider subscribing and following me on Instagram. I made a new one, um, so please help me out. And don't forget to like this video and comment down below what your advice would be to other people when it comes to makeup. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.